Hey guys, it's Apple Mint. Welcome back again to my channel. So today's video idea was suggested to me by Shadow Arcanine in my Discord server. Thank you so much for the inspiration and the idea for today. As you guys know, I love turning things into people. So as the title says, I'm going to be drawing fast food restaurants as girls. I haven't had fast food in almost three months and I've been internally dying. So I, maybe I can live out my fantasies of eating fast food through this video. Although I think it's just gonna make me more hungry. <laughs> So for the first restaurant that I'll be drawing today, I'm gonna start with a classic being McDonald's because I feel like when people think America, they just think McDonald's immediately. <laughs> so I, I suppose I should start with a classic restaurant for this. Even though I will say, I actually have only eaten McDonald's, I think like once in the past eight years maybe, maybe more than eight years, 10 years. I just, I don't know. I saw some documentary about it when I was a freshman in high school. It scarred me and I uh, don't really go there anymore. Burger King all the way. <laughs> anyway, for my concept for McDonald's, obviously we all know that the mascot for it is Ronald McDonald, who is a freaky clown man and I don't like him, but <laughs> I wanted to carry through a little bit of that clown essence like very subtly in my drawing so I decided to give her little clown makeup underneath her eyes no red clown nose no no we are not going with that route but <laughs> I, I tried that in a sketch on the side and I was like that's just too much no no um, so I gave her the little paint underneath her eye and above her other eye just to kind of give a little nod to that theme, but she is in no means like a full-on clown. Uh, and then I also wanted to give her a tray of food because I just felt that it fit the whole aesthetic I was going for with her. So I wanted to make her kind of like running to go serve the food. And I decided to go with a maid style outfit for her. Uh, of course, I plan on including all of the colors from McDonald's. You think uh, red and yellow and white and maybe throwing a little bit of black in there. So I really wanna to stick to that color palette. And I thought that a maid outfit would be really cute. Something one of my friends had asked was if I was going to be doing a uniform from the place. People who work at McDonald's have uniforms. And to that I was like, no, not really, because I think that kind of takes the fun out of making up an outfit for her and making her her own thing. She is supposed to be the embodiment of McDonald's as a whole, not necessarily a McDonald's worker. So for her hair, I decided to give her twin tails to kind of look like the Golden Arches logo. And I'm actually pretty happy with <laughs> the way this whole design looks. I don't know, I, I feel like I nailed it pretty well in terms of I look at her and I can tell what restaurant she's from. I mean, maybe it's just because there's giant M's everywhere, but I, I'd like to think it's the rest of her design as well. But like I said, gold, red, black and white are my color patterns. So obviously, uh, because her hair is supposed to be the Golden Arch logo, I gave her yellow hair, or I guess blonde hair. It's not really a yellow, it's more of a golden color. Uh, and I just went with brown on her eyes because I just wanted something that was more muted, something that fit into the color palette rather than popped out. Her dress was actually a lot of fun to color. I did make a stripe that goes across all of her ruffles on her skirt. And that I plan on coloring in yellow, but um, I just had fun coloring this part in because I tried to give subtle shading and subtle highlights to the actual red. I'm not sure how much you can tell. It shows up a lot better in person, but I tried to do a lot of blending in terms of the shading on the dress. And I think it looks like, I don't know, it looks really nice and subtle. So I used a different yellow for the accents on the outfit than I did for the hair. Like I mentioned, the hair is more of a blonde color. I think this like electric yellow would have looked too crazy as her hair color. So I wanted something a little bit more natural looking, um, but I did pick a more standout yellow for her outfit because that is the color yellow that is in the McDonald's logo and all of their promotional things. So that's what I went with there. and. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, as you can tell, I'm just kind of gushing about the outfit and everything. I just really liked how she came out and I felt that she really fit what I had in mind. You know, sometimes you sit down to draw something and you have an idea in mind and then you actually draw it and it looks nothing like what you imagined. But actually this wasn't one of those times, which 
those times happen to me surprisingly often, so when they don't happen, like today, I'm pretty happy, as you can tell. And lastly, I gave her black and white socks, which one of my friends also pointed out kind of looks like the Hamburglar, which is also McDonald's intellectual property. So really, it all kind of comes together there, you know? <laughs> and if you don't know who that is, uh, look it up. It's just another character that they used to have back in the day. I don't know if they still push that character at all. I've, I haven't seen it. But anyway, that is my interpretation of McDonald's as a girl. And now on to the next restaurant. So this next place that I'm drawing is, I guess, technically fast food. It's not something I guess I would think of right away when I think fast food restaurant, but I definitely would count it as part of the category. And that is Dairy Queen. So whether you would count that or not, I don't count just like food places, like lunch or dinner type places. I would also count dessert places like this as fast food restaurants. Maybe fast food isn't the right word, but you get the point. Food franchises. <laughs> anyway, I decided to do Dairy Queen for this because I figured it was a little bit different. Um, a lot of my ideas originally had to do more with like Burger King and Wendy's obviously already has a mascot that's a girl, so I'm staying away from that one. Um, or, you know, places like that. But I decided to go with Dairy Queen because it was a little bit different and I was excited to see where I could take the idea. So I had a few different ideas at first. I wanted to make her originally very very royal as in like a big ball gown and like crazy hair and like all that that was my original idea but i scrapped that because she is dairy queen she's not just a regular queen so she has to do with ice cream and frozen things and so i decided to take a more ice queen slash ice princess route with it i guess i guess it's not princess i guess it is ice queen because she's dairy queen all right whatever <laughs> don't listen to my ramblings Anyway, I decided to take a lot more of an icy queen look for her outfit design. And so I also kind of wanted her to look like she could almost be like an ice skater as well. I don't know, like this was just what was running through my mind and then I just kind of sat down and was like, all right, let's see what happens. So I gave her on her wrists and across her chest um, a very like very fluffy, uh, <laughs> very fluffy cups and stuff just to keep her warm. Um, and then a long sleeve dress that is very flowy. And I also added on a scarf that would attach, I guess, to the very back of her dress there. So I guess it's not really like a scarf scarf. It's more so just attachments to the outfit. But I almost wanted those to resemble like the spoons. <laughs> I'll get there in a little bit uh, when, you, when I actually color it. But if you know anything about when you go to Dairy Queen, they always have like the really big spoons when you order a blizzard or something like that. And so that's kind of the route I took there with those little accent scarf things. But I wanted to keep her color palette, again, very to the logo. Um, or, and not stray too far away from that. So the Dairy Queen logo is mostly red with a touch of orange and blue. So those are the colors that I'm primarily using as well as white and a little bit of gold when I actually get into the accents of like the jewelry and things like that. So I decided to do the orange for her hair. I thought that she'd look great as a redhead. And also I was planning to make her outfit blue. I really wanted the icy theme to carry across this drawing so I wanted to do blue like almost snowy icy on her outfit and then contrast that with the orange of her hair since orange and blue are opposite colors in the color wheel I think that they look really good against each other and so that's why I chose to put those where I did again I wanted to do a lot of highlighted areas very subtly on her dress just to help it stand out a little bit more rather than being just one flat color. Although I will say my very light blue marker ran out like just as I was doing this. So I had just enough for the drawing, but if it's a little streaky, that is why. And I have to refill that one. I didn't realize it was so empty. But anyway, I decided to keep the blue for the major portion of her outfit, orange for the hair, and then for the rest of it, do some orange accents and then the red just to be other accent colors like on her shoes and on her scarf thingies. <laughs> so yeah, that is my interpretation of Dairy Queen. I added her little DQ logo to her dress as well. And I would love for you to let me know 
what you guys think of the two restaurants that I drew for today's video, if they are at all how you would have imagined them or if you would have imagined them differently, what you would have done or what you would have thought of first. These are just the ideas that came to my mind first, but I know there's a lot of different ways that these things can be interpreted. So I'm very interested to hear your opinions because my version of Dairy Queen, she's very snooty, as you can tell. Anyway, all of my links are in the description box below, as always. I have a link to my online store, my Patreon pin club, and my Discord server. Everything is there, so go check that out. And again, thank you guys so much for watching my video this week. I had a lot of fun making this one, so I definitely uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you all next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, as always. And I hope you have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.